Welcome in Mountaineer Nation. I'm Sam the Man, and this is the continuation of our bowl series. We were going to try to do them all till we did them all, but we've ran out of time, so we're going to cover uh, from December 29th on. With me today, I got my very special guest, Marcus Dean. What up, people? What's going on? <laughs> He's in with me tonight to help me break down some of these games. we we'll pick winners. As you all know, we're a little crazy with our picks sometimes. That's just <laughs> the way it goes. That's just the way life is. But today we're going to talk about the Fenway Bowl featuring SMU in Virginia. Um, that's going to come to you uh, on December 29th at 11 a.m. on ESPN from Fenway Park in Boston, which kind of interested. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and seeing how that lays out. But Marcus, my good man, SMU Virginia, who you got, brother? Well, this is going to be a very, very interesting game. I mean, Virginia came in with a lot of hype this season because they had Brennan Armstrong. Everything was going good the first part of the season. They were sitting pretty at four and two, then six and two. Then they hit a brick wall that was BYU. And that deflated their poor little balloon. Then they lost to Notre Dame. Then they lost to Pitt. Then they dropped another one to Virginia Tech. So their confidence is shot, to say the least. They roll into this ball game at six and six, going against an SMU foe that likes to throw it all over the yard. Um, it's going to be a very interesting game. This is Bronco Mendenhall, UVA's head football coach. His last hurrah, he is stepping down at the end of the season. Um, and we all know that Tony Elliott now is going to be his rep replace replacement there at UVA, former offensive coordinator at Clemson. Uh, this could very well be Brennan Armstrong, superstar quarterback for Virginia, his last game in a Virginia uniform. He's not come out and said yet if he's going to stay at UVA or transfer or try the NFL. No one has said anything yet officially. But to me, I mean, Virginia's already – lost a lot in terms of the a lot of the players have already jumped to the transfer portal uh, it's gonna be very difficult for Virginia to pull this one out and I like SMU in this one I think SMU is going to do enough to uh they have enough offense offensive firepower to take down UVA I think UVA will give them a good game they'll score with them but in the end I think SMU will put up more points than UVA can I agree with you I mean the the spread has SMU a two and a half point favorite the over under 71. I think you take the under. I, I don't think either team uh, scores probably over over 35 points, 34 points this game. Right. So I think under 70 is about where you need to be. I think SMU's defense is just a, a little bit better than Virginia. I think Virginia yeah. and SMU can go score for score. It's going to come down to who holds on to the ball, uh, who takes care of the ball, and the defensive uh performances for both teams and I think SMU their defense is just a little stouter than Virginia Virginia you know with all the coaching changes it's going to be you know it's going to be a hard game for the kids yeah. to go through and the coaches to go through so I think SMU I'm with you on that one I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a really good game I think it's a really yeah. good matchup um, but unfortunately for Virginia just with changeovers and stuff I think SMU pulls it out um, by a couple of points. Yeah, I would agree with that. There you go. That's another segment in our bowl series, the Fenway Bowl featuring SMU in Virginia. I'm Sam the Man. This is Marcus Dean. We both got SMU in this one. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the little notification bell. That way you know when we do go live. But for the Mountaineer Effect, I'm Sam the Man. Let's go Mountaineers. Mountaineers.